If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You most often run macros in Access within Forms by assigning a macro to an event associated with a command button control in a form. Whenever the associated button's event occurs, the macro is then run or executed. Most often, macros are associated with the click event of a command button. This lets the user run the macro by clicking the button. To add a command button control to a form that a user can click to run a standalone macro in Access, first create the standalone macro you want to run as shown in the previous lesson. Then open the desired form to which to add the button and attach the macro in form design view. Then ensure you enable the Use Control Wizards button by clicking the More arrow in the lower right corner of the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to show its drop-down menu. Ensure the Use Control Wizards button is highlighted, which means it is enabled. If not highlighted, click the button in the drop-down menu to enable it. This makes it much easier to create a command button. Next, click the Button Control in the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Form Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Then, click and drag over the area in the form where you want to place the command button. When you release your mouse button, the command button is added to the form and the command button wizard opens. In the first screen of the command button wizard dialog box, select the miscellaneous choice from the categories list. Then click the run macro choice in the actions list to the right. Then click the next button to continue. In the next screen, click to select the name of the standalone macro to attach. Then click the next button to continue. To set the command button's face, select either the Text or Picture Option button. Then enter the button's text in the adjacent field, or select the icon to include on the button's face using the adjacent options. Then click the Next button to continue. In the final screen, type a name for the command button into the field provided, and click the Finish button to add the button to the form. Using the command button wizard is a very quick and easy way to assign a macro to a command button in a form. Also, note the other options you have for quickly creating command buttons for common macro events within the Categories and Actions lists in the first screen of the Command Button Wizard dialog box. Instead of embedding a standalone macro as we just saw, you can also create embedded macros that perform the single actions listed by the choices in these two lists if desired. To do this, select the desired choices in the category and action lists and continue to click the next button, answering questions, until you finish. This can help you create quick command buttons containing embedded macros, which we will examine in the next lesson without needing to separately create standalone macros. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.